The most common task users would perform when using Yelp is searching for a satisfactory restaurant and learn more about it. So now I'm going to walk through this path. When I open Yelp, I notice an elevated search bar, very prominent, which is good, because I would probably already have some ideas of what I would like to eat before I open this app. So I click it and choose restaurants. Then I get a list of restaurants. Each restaurant comes along with some images and some basic information about it, like the distance, rating, price, and style. I think it's pretty good to list uh, all those information so users can compare options without actually clicking into the detailed page. As you can see, the colors of the rating score are different. Red means above 4, orange means 3 to 4, yellow means 2 to 3. I like this very much as it takes advantage of the color and makes it functional and more digestive for users. Some restaurants even have a quick action button like call and reserve now on the side. I think this provides a pretty straightforward way for users to do some common actions, which saves time. Now I'm going to swipe down the drawer. It shows me a map view of many red dots. Each dot represents a restaurant and has a number corresponding to their order on the list that I just opened. I was assuming those numbers represent the distance from me which um, the one is the nearest and the 20 is the furthest, but it obviously not. So I guess it may be um, the recommendation order. One means the most recommended one, while the 20 means the least recommended. So I'm going to click on a dot. Okay, I saw a um, card appear on the bottom of the screen with basically the same information that I saw on the list. Now I want to narrow down the displaying results. So I think I should click on the filter chip. Okay, it seems that I can only choose one cuisine style at the same time. But the selection tool on the right is check boxes rather than radio buttons. It's a common design practice that checkbox uh, means multiple selections and if you you only want the user to select only one option at the same time, a radio button would be the best practice. So if I could redesign Yelp, I would definitely replace the checkbox with radio buttons. Once I click into a restaurant's details page, I see a photo gallery on the top and the exactly the same information as what I saw on the list of search results. Then it allows me to input reviews or check-in. I'm not sure what the check-in is used for, as I don't have any reservation before, um, but I, I guess it's just for counting the number of people who have ever visited this place. Then uh, there are some popular dishes, location, other info, similar restaurants, more photos, share, reviews, and similar restaurants again. I got a very overwhelming feeling with so much information. Some of them are even duplicated. Most sections have a title that helps users to identify what kinds of information will appear below as well as, well as um, visually distinguish different information sections. However, some sections don't have a title at all, like the location and the review, which I think um, it causes an inconsistency issue. I would suggest placing similar information or functions together so users uh, would find it more convenient to access the same information they are looking for. For example, group them to you might 
also consider together, um, place start a review and the recommended review in a pre-closing space. Also make uh, each section distinguished enough from each other by using titles or spacings.